Hi everyone, Fintan here from Damson. This week I wanted to talk about two new features that I think are pretty exciting. The first one that I want to talk about was Microsoft editing. So you'll now be able to edit Microsoft Office documents within Google Drive. Now I know what some of you are thinking, well I think wasn't there an extension within Chrome that allowed me to do this or couldn't I already preview Microsoft Office documents? And yes, that was the case, but now Google have built or baked this technology into Google Drive itself. So without any add-ons or extensions, you will actually be able to open a Microsoft Word, Excel or PowerPoint document, edit it and, and also live uh, collaborate with other users who are also on Google Drive and, and also have this feature, uh, which is amazing. So bringing this live editing that we're used to with, with Google Drive to, to Microsoft documents, you're gonna be able to, to edit it in real time and it's going to maintain that document as a Microsoft document. And it will, will indicate that up on the, 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 the top bar uh, next to the name of the file. It will say Excel, S or um, PowerPoint, whatever the, the particular file is. And I think this is a really exciting update because what it does is it opens up G Suite to maybe a bunch of, of companies that uh, were holding back on moving over to it. I know we've had those conversations in the past where customers wanted to, but their reliance on, on Microsoft files was maybe still uh, quite heavy. And so this really opens up the product to, to a lot of those users. And then also for companies that are already on G Suite and are trying to maybe reduce their, their reliance on, on Microsoft Office um, and the cost of, of a lot of those licenses, this is gonna be fantastic. They're gonna be able to get rid of probably 70 or 80% of their Microsoft licensing requirements because it doesn't require a Microsoft license. You can open and edit Microsoft documents now within Google Drive. I know your next question is gonna be, when, when am I gonna see this feature available? It is rolling out at the minute. I've seen it live on, on some G Suite uh, accounts, but others um, don't have it yet. Google are saying it's gonna be rolled out fully by the end of, of May, at the end of the month. So uh, this video is, is being made um, May 2019. So end of May, you should expect uh, definitely to have this feature. The second feature that I wanted to talk about is live captioning in Hangouts Meet. Live captioning you're probably familiar with. Um, if you're looking at Facebook videos or YouTube videos, you'll, you'll know that you'll be able to turn on or sometimes uh, they're already on captions at the bottom of the screen as the person is talking. And what Google have brought out now is the facility to turn this on within Hangouts Meet. So as the person is talking, the technology within Google Meet is listening to what they're saying and, and uh, basically putting up the words at the bottom of the screen. I have now turned this feature on, which means anything that I say is coming up on the screen below, which I think is pretty awesome. So a really interesting feature, and I think a fantastic use of some technologies that Google kind of already have. You know, they, they, they've got um, a lot of this technology already built into stuff like YouTube uh, and things like that. And all they're doing is just bringing it together uh, within, within Hangouts Meet and making it available to, to G Suite users. I'd be really interested to know what you think about these two features, particularly the, the live office editing and indeed the, the Hangouts Meet um, live captioning. What do you think these um, particular features, the impact these particular features will have on your organization. I'd be really, really interested to know how you think you might end up using them or you know, is it gonna mean that you can get rid of some or all of your Microsoft Office licensing? Um, please let us know in the comments below. I'll talk to you next week, thanks.